Okay. Let's see if I can get this video going. Um, this is going to be chain fishing. Um, for a shiny magic cop, I think, is what I'm doing. So you're going to want to come to where our... Hold on. This is Santalum City. You're going to want to come to Santalum City. Let's see if we can get this camera at a good angle. Here we go. So once you're here, you're going to want to come to Route 22 and go over here. There should be a small bit of water over here, and you're going to want to use an old rod, and you're going to be chaining for a shiny magic card. Now, in order to keep catching, in order to keep getting the magic card to come in, you're going to want a Pokemon in the lead who has suction cup, like this Pokemon here that I'm using. I don't know his name. Malamar, I think is his name. Uh, you can catch it. Well, you can't catch it. You have to evolve it. Um, but you can catch... It's unevolved form Inqua. I think that's its name. On, I believe, Route 8. So, go check that out. And then come back here. <laughs> oh. See, that's something you don't want to do, is mess up like that. So first, let me just unregister my bike. Now, I've unregistered my bike, so every time I hit Y, it sends my old rod out. Okay, here's a magic carb. Let's start up at this chain and see if it goes. Now, you don't always have to defeat the magic carp or whatever it is you want to chain. Um, you can run away from it, um, so you could just do a chain that you just run away from every time, or you can defeat it if you're trying to also get some experience out of it. But you do have to keep encountering it. So get something with the ability Suction Cups. And that'll make sure you run into a Pokemon every time. I have used this method for my first shiny ever... For my first ever shiny catch. Which was a Love Disc. So... This... This method does work. It is not cheating or hacking. There is no hacking or cheating involved. Um, and this method does work. I have used it on more than one occasion. And each time it has caught me a shiny. This could take a little bit, so... And I don't really know how to get YouTube to speed up this video. So, let's just do, go through here. And this might take... This could take 30 magic cops. It could take 60 magic cops. So, you could be chaining for like a week just to get the shiny. So, this could take a very long time or very little time. I think my first shiny chaining, um, I got a shiny at 18 or 20. So this can take very little time. And I have heard of people getting shinies in just seven, um, reels, in just seven pulls in. 
so it can take very little time or very a uh, very very large amount of time So just keep chaining. And you could probably do this as I'm... You know, so see, that just broke our chain. So let's just end it. And I'll show you the first shiny that I caught using this method. And we'll, I'll just... Um, I'll do this method after I show you this um, Pokemon. And I'll start another video when I um, catch the um, shiny Magikarp. Just let me in. So first, let's get our Pokemon healed up here. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. I think my next video, I'll be um, telling you what the giveaway will be. And, um, how you can enter. Trico, my favorite Pokemon ever. I just love Trico. So, let's show you my shiny here. My shiny was a love disc. I actually had two of them, but I did trade one for a Cyndaquil. See? But I did catch the shiny love disc. It is a level 20. I have one more shiny that um, was um, traded by Wonder Trade, and I'm going to be looking for that for a second. Here it is. Right there. And that is my other shiny. And it was really hard to get. So, I... Hope you all enjoyed this video. And for my and my next video we'll be reporting what the giveaway will be. So thank you very much for watching and keep playing Pokemon.